Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yep, this is uh, Asahi and Atsuki, uh, Shocking uh, Revelations Part 4. Uh, yeah, so the last time uh, we saw what happened uh, is the, the main character, A.K. Lawrence, was uh, was like exif wor worrying about Natsuki because he's like literally spent, uh, I don't know, dating him? dating Asahi or spending time with him it's honestly I agree with Lawrence he's sexy acting very suspicious but yeah you know you know what let's jump right to it and you react to it okay man these past few weeks have been a living hell I have to turn this down but down okay I've been thinking about Yuri's words and something's really got to me is Asahi really that bad? Is he? He is. He is. I, I don't know if... I don't know. It's too bad. He is for me. What if this is... No, I didn't read that. Whoops. I don't even know anymore. Maybe there's this talking with me, trying to get me to freak out. But still, I can't help but worry about the crap they said. Yuri said she knew what people like Asahi are like. And, and in her defense, he did act like a massive crap towards me and Lawrence when we first met. <sighs> Maybe they're right. Oh, that voice cracked. I don't know Asahi that, well, I shouldn't be falling in love with him. Yeah, you shouldn't. He's a no-go. <laughs> if anything, I should should stare well clear from that degenerate. Maybe I can reconsider. Not so hurry up. Your friend is waiting for you. Isamu? Got it. Wait, who is that? Not so I've been waiting for the past 20 minutes. Hurry up. Is that her mother? Alright, craphead. I yield to myself after hearing that comment. A few more minutes pass, and Natsuki and her father and emerge from the. Oh, oh, hey, that's dead. Hello, Lawrence. Oh wait, no, that's that's Natsuki's dead name. What I'm? <sighs> my brain is not brain. I'm trusting you to keep my daughter safe today. After all, I wouldn't want anything bad happening to her, nor you, for that record. Oh, how I feel guilty. Now I feel guilty. He still doesn't know about the Asahi situation. Actually, can I pull you aside for a second? There's something I want to bring up with you. Uh, sure. That's okay, you can go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Okay. That's you box off. Okay, uh, there's something I need to talk to you about regarding Natsuki. Oh, he's going to talk about the situation of Asahi and Natsuki. Let's get it over and done with. Okay. I take a sharp in hill before speaking up. Okay, so. A while back, Natsuki and I were chilling in the city when this idiot bumped into her. He proceeded to insult her while she called him out. And then out of nowhere, he called her names like cute and sexy, and immediately I saw so many red flags with him, but Natsuki was blind to them. He gave her his phone number without her consent, and left leaving Natsuki basically shocked and flustered. I've been trying to warn her about this guy, but she says, well, listen to me. What the hell, that was a motorcycle. That made that noise, sorry guys. I'm just, I don't know what to do. Oh god, he's shocked. You have, you have got to be kidding me. What, what is it? I let that docker into my house one night. Oh no! Wait, why would you do that? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I would've killed that 
stalker, the freaker, whatever. Killing him would have incriminated yourself. I don't give a crap. No one uses my daughter like that. Look, we're not getting anywhere by arguing like this. Isamu sucks the air through his teeth, trying to calm down. I understand you, you're pissed, I am too. But we need to convince her she's at the risk by hanging around that freaking idiot. What do you suggest we do? I'll have a firm talk with her later on today. This cannot go on any longer. I refuse to let anyone, and I mean anyone, use Natsuki for their own self as a game. Thank you, I appreciate that so much. Whatever. Go and follow her, and for the love of God, keep her safe. I will, don't worry. I wave at Natsuki's dad before walking away from the house and chasing after Natsuki. My god, after a minute or so, I finally catch up to Natsuki, who is leaning against a wall. Uh, there you are, you took your swing time. Sorry, I just had to talk to your dad about something. What were you two talking about? Uh... We were talking about your studies. Your studies? Yes. That's bullcrap. You told me about Asi, didn't you? She straight knows. Yeah. I see. Listen, I'm not gonna so so code in. I'm pissed off at you for going behind my back. But I've been doing some thinking. I had a chat with Yuri about Asahi, and I think you guys are right. The guy's been nothing but a weirdo. He's trying to take advantage of me. Oh, thank god. Natsuki, you have no idea how happy I am to hear that. Natsuki finally smiles at me. On another note, Thank you for being there for me. Your support really means a lot to me. No worries, I'd do anything for you, sis. Nice. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> After all, you are a massive simp. Oh my god. Freak you. Don't threaten me with a good time. Let's get going. We've got a lot of stuff to do today. Alright, dude. Very chill music. Natsuki and I arrive at some sort of shopping mall. We take a seat out of one of the benches provided and pull out our packs of cigarettes. What have you got on you today? I decided to finally try the Marlboro Golds I got from the Canary Island. Ooh, yes, I know they're not the best Marlboros, but they just satisfy me for the time being. I see. Well, I brought these with me. I pull out a pack of Benchuns and Hedges Gold. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Marlboro smoking cigarettes, whatever. You only just started smoking then? Wow, I never knew you were slow like me. Oh, be quiet. I know Natsuki's mouth would be a very disgusting smell. As Natsuki continues to laugh at my expense, I open my bag and attempt to light it. People who smoke, please don't judge it. I was only a joke, okay? Crap. I'm out of lighter fluid. Good job. Uh, Natsuki, can I borrow your lighter? Why do you need my lighter? Because I ran out of fluid. 
Oh. Asika scoffs at me before passing her lighter over to me. You're so damn lucky, I always refell mine, dude. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and Asika's better than you. I let up my cigarette before passing the lighter back to its rightful owner. Nothing gets to work. Also, learning her seek. I think it's the like on a small way to say this cigarette. So apart from the whole as he ball crab, what have you been doing in the meantime? Uh, not much, to be honest. I'm just trying my best to study for my finals in maths and English. Uh, what about you? Are you actually studying? Or are you too busy playing dumb video games when you're Discord buddies? And that Discord buddies is me. <laughs> I've been studying? I can smell your bow crap from a while before mal away, dude. Oh, go freak off. <laughs> I knew you were a slob, but this is a new record for you, my guy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, you signed up for this the moment we we met. Would you rather me at like a funny or tease you rent us rare yeah. You teasing me rent and Oh my god, red Exactly, so seal those lips for yours and enjoy the ride. You're going on that freaking massacre today, holy crap. <laughs> I try to ignore the pink hair troll and enjoy my cigarette in peace. But Natsuki continues to torment me. Seriously, Nats. Come on, we both know you're enjoying this. You're enjoying this way too much. Oh, hey guys. Oh, it's Kiyomi. How are you two doing? My boy, Kiyomi. Hey, Kiyomi, I'm doing good. I mean, my girl. She's not a freaking boy. Correction, I was doing good. Oh, what happened? This little crab here decided to tease me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, 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 that's cute. How are you two? Oh, uh, how are you doing, Natsuki? I'm doing great. Just chilling with my best friend and smoking cigarettes. Zizu. That's good to hear, dude. Although, I will be careful about the whole smoking ha habit. Yeah, I agree with Kiyomi. 100%. Don't worry, kill me, I'll be fine. Besides, what's the point in living if you're not gonna live your life to the absolute fullest? I... Ignore her, kill me. She's, she's on some sort of sugar high today. How bold of you to assume sugar is the f thing making me act this way? Okay, you... Come on, Lawrence, I'm kidding. Well, since you two are having fun together, I'll let you two do your own thing and do some shopping. Take care. No, wait. Damn it. Are you good, dude? You look lost. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Listen. If you want me to shop, all these tone things back a notch, just say the words and I will. Now I'd much rather say you like this instead of getting caught up with that as he loser. An awkward silence occurs after I make that comment. Yeah, Natsuki still loves him. Ah, I'm so sorry. You're good, dude. I'm still shocked at how hard I was falling for him. Yeah, you were a lot. Mm-hmm. 
I genuinely don't know how to respond to that. Okay. Oh, that's how you This is... This is it, huh? This is where everything finally ends. W w what do you mean? This should be a good thing, right? No one has to suffer from my actions anymore. Wait, 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 what are you gonna do? Uh, wait, Sayuri. We, we, we talked about this, you know? To the literature club, thank you for the memories over the, the years. What? Wait, 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 Making you feel better, you know? I thought I thought you don't have that D word anymore. If you know what I mean. Like the the S word, feeling the S word. Like, come on. Wh why are you doing this now? Wh wh why are you doing this? What the hell? Goodbye. Wait. But, wait. Uh, wait. Wait. Huh? No. Why? What do you... Oh my god, I so I hope you don't mind me popping over. After seeing Lawrence do this several times, I checked her doormat. Oh. Sure enough, Sayuri's keys are hidden under there. I take my time unlocking her front door before heading inside. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I work upstairs, making sure to tread carefully. Before long, I'm standing outside her bedroom. Sayori, are you in there? Uh, Yuri! I don't know. No response. I assume she's sleeping or something, right? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, considering she's the most likely t taking new medication for her depression. Uh, still, it won't hurt to check, check up on her. I we know any any hesitation. I gently open the door. Sayur. No. Oh, crap! Why? Why did she do that again? Jesus. <laughs> oh my. Why? <laughs> Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I don't know what to say, I'm just shocked. I thought everything was working perfectly fine with Sayuri, I thought that whole Yuri speech did good to her. What is this? What is this? What? Let's just continue. After seeing her attempting to overdose, I rush over to her and snatch the peel bottle out of her hands. I waste no time in getting her in a recovery position. Stay calm, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna f phone an amb ambulance. Oh wait, I thought she. Oh my god, why? I grab my phone and phone for the emergency service. Oh wait, wait, wait! Uh, sorry, I keep pausing, but wait. I just realized. So that was at the end of the, literally at the end of the episode three. She said something about like, like finally or something. Finally, I didn't get why, but now I get it. Oh my god! She was trying to do the S word again. Like, like oh my god! Once they answer, I quickly gave Sayuri's address and explain what's transpired. Oh my god, they tell me to remain calm and check her breathing until the ambulance gets here. Thank you. They hung up. Okay, I need to be on top of my game now. 
This could be the difference between Sayuri, Sayuri doing the funny and her surviving. Uh, just remain calm, Sayuri. The ambulance will be here soon. I quickly check her pulse. Okay, it's good. Okay, Sayuri, how many pills did you end up taking? She didn't. Sayuri. Crap, she's falling unconscious. Oh my god. I told her head up, lifting her chin in the process. Come on, Sayuri, stay with me. Crap. <laughs> Sorry, I keep pausing, but... My god. Yandere, you're mean <laughs> for doing this. Crap. <laughs> I can't believe it. Jeez. Oh my god. You almost got me there, though. I mean, I didn't, I didn't cry. I just... I also didn't tear up, I almost did, but Jesus Christ. It's been a few hours and Natsuki and I are chilling out by the park. The sun has already begun to set, but we're showing no signs of tiredness yet. Yo, Natsuki. Yeah, man. I have to say, today's been pretty nice. Uh, not for Sayuri. So there's a two of us relaxing out in public and not caring the world. I'm really glad to have been able to create more memories with you. Dude, you're so freaking cheesy. To be honest, I've enjoyed today as well. <laughs> now you're being cheesy. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I started falling in love with Nasai. You and the others are real ones. Never stop being yourselves. Oh, uh, oh my god, that voice cracked. <laughs> I want to say all. Oh. I'm glad to hear Natsuki say that. I walk over towards her. I think you know what the warrants. I give, give me your worst. Once she finishes that sentence, I pat, I pat her on the head. Good dog, good dog, I'll get some. You the headpads never get old, dude. I'm glad to hear that. Oh my god, uh, he is video black a bit. I continue to pat her for a few more m moments. After a while, I make my way back to my original spot. That felt nice. Glad to hear that, nuts. I, I let up a cigarette, smelling the entire time. I think it does the same. Lining up a Mambro Gold. She takes a few drags from her cigarette while whilst also observing the scenario around her. God damn, this area looks gorgeous at sunset. Who need this to be fair? Uh oh. Babe, give me a chance to explain myself. I don't want to hear any of your bull crap as he Oh? What the? Wait, what? Is that? Asahi? Oh, okay. I swear I wasn't flirting with her or anything like that. Asahi, if you don't back the crab away from me right now, I will bust your skull in. But the ghost pulls out the baseball bat. Oh my god. Holy crap, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Upon seeing the girl's bed, as he dashes away from the park, screaming for his life. That's it! Freak off, you... Mm. Funny. God, this girl seems aggressive. But given as he natural, I don't blame her. I look over to Nasuki, who seems to be pleading with me to stay with her and not approaching the girl. And not approach the girl. But my curiosity gets the better of me. Hey, uh, is everything good? Does everything look good to you, dude? 
good point. Listen, um, did you happen to be that guy's girlfriend? I was his girlfriend. I just recently found out via a friend of mine that he's been flirting with some so for the past few weeks. Oh, is that not Suki? Is that Suki? Definitely not Suki. Oh god. Oh no. It's fine though. The guy was an absolute prick to me. He tried to force me to do crap I wasn't com confronted with. Try and get me drawn. Oh them. Listen, I really don't want to talk about that loser anymore. Do you, any of you have a Sega can pitch? Pinch? Uh, sh sure. I pull out the cigarette and pass it over to the girl. She lights, lights it up and takes a few drags out while smiling friendly. Oh, damn. Before we leave, can I get your name real quick? Sure thing. The name's Tina. And you, Tina or Tina? I think it's Tina. My name is Lawrence, and this is Natsuki. Natsuki forces a smile and waves almost robotically at, at Tina. <laughs> oh god, that's not good. Haha, <laughs> don't be afraid. I won't buy it. Oh, I know. <laughs> Very well. Well, I'll be out of your way now. Take care, guys. See you, Tina. Tina walks off. That's a twist and a half right there. You know. <laughs> My god, that guy is just a freaking loser. If I see him again, I'm gonna kill him. Was I just a toy in his eyes? Did I actually matter to him? Clearly not, considering he has a girlfriend. Correction, he had a girlfriend <laughs> too. I'm done with him. I never want to see his face ever again. Good. Uh, I think it's about time we head home. Yeah, good idea. I reach my hand out to Natsuki. She looks a bit shocked at first, but eventually grabs it. Let's get you back to your place first, sis. If anyone, including Asahi, tries hurting you, they'll have to get past me first. Jeez, what are you, Prince Charming? <laughs> nah, I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> Plus, your dad gave me the task to look after you. Oh yeah, true. Well, I appreciate it. Making sure to keep a look out for any anyone, we began our journey home. Okay. Oh no. The ambulance is here. Oh god. The fire thing. If I've been trying to call Lawrence, but it keeps going straight to voicemail. Lawrence, please get here soon. Sire desperately needs us. Hey Yuri, I'm here. Hey, it's Monica. Okay, okay. Is yes, Sire doing okay? She's in the stable condition at the moment. Okay, that's good. Let's follow them to the hospital. Try and call Natsuki in the meantime. Oh, okay. This is shocking. And we're here. Lawrence, thank you for today. I appreciate I appreciate you so much, dude. You're welcome, dude. Well, I'll see you le- Suddenly Natsuki's phone starts ringing. Oh. Uh, one second. Um, hello? Oh, 
What? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Yuri, tell the news. Yuri told the news. Oh, Monica. Let's see what's going on. We'll be there as soon as possible. Natsuki, talk to me. What's happening? Oh, God. Sayuri is in the hospital. She tried doing herself. Oh, my God. My blood gets goes cold. No, this can't be happening. Why? She was doing so well. We need to go now. Natsuki and I waste no time on running to the bus stop. The bus arrives shortly after. Sayuri, please be okay. We arrive at the hospital. Hello, guys? Hey, Natsuki and Lawrence. Is Sayuri right? We heard the news. Sayuri is in the stable condition at the moment, but she's still unconscious. Oh god. Okay. Yuri, are you doing okay? I'm getting there. I was the one who found her trying to overdose, so I had to act quickly to ensure she didn't inflict too much damage to herself. Oh my god. Besides, did you get any of my calls? What calls? I pull out my phone. 12 missed calls from Yuri. Damn, Lawrence. Crap, I had my phone on silent. Y Yuri. I'm sorry, I didn't answer any of your calls. It's okay, I'm just glad you're here. Yeah, true. Well, what are we going to do about Sayuri? We need to wait until tomorrow morning. After that, we'll be able to check up on her. Well, we're on this topic, I have a plan. What is it? Well, Sayuri's parents are in her room at the moment, and they told me they're planning on going to a trip to the United States to visit some relatives. Oh my god. I'm gonna suggest they bring Sayori with her, maybe they can help her out over there, and plus, she could, she could do win the break from Japan. Oh, I think that would be the most appropriate idea. Yeah, a trip to the stage would do her some good. I'm glad we're on the same page, girls. Lawrence, what about you? I don't know how to respond to that. On one hand, I don't want her to leave, but on the other hand, other, she could benefit from help in the United States. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather she travel to somewhere where she'd be safe than stay here and potentially attempt that again. Talk to her parents, please. Alright, Lawrence. I'll wait until her parents come out of her room. Thank you. Okay, S Sayuri. There she is. Lawrence. Sayuri, it's okay. I'm not mad at you or anything like that, alright? Listen, did your parents talk to you last night? Jesus. Yeah, they did. 
they want me to come on with them to visit our family and for me to get proper mental health treatment I I agreed for their sake oh thank you you have no idea how happy that makes me feel sorry yeah this is for my own benefit Sayuri, you put her hospital bed. You're gonna be okay now that your family knows they can get you the help you need. They care for you. We care for you. You got through this several times in the past. I know for a fact you can pull through this again. Lawrence, Shh. everything is going to be okay. I lean over in Aksayori. I can feel her tears letting on my shoulders as she returns the hug. No matter what happens to you, I'm always going to be here for you. Damn. Never ever forget that. Thank you, Lawrence. I love you. I love you too, Sayuri. We're standing on my street, waiting for Sayuri. I still can't believe this is happening. Hey, Lawrence, are you okay? Try my best to hold back my tears, sis. Come here. Nancy holds my hands. You also approach me, giving me a side side hug for support. After a few minutes, Sayur approaches us. Well, this is it guys. I really hope you guys will be okay while I'm gone. We will. You stay safe too, Sayori. I will. I love you guys. Bye, Sayori. So he gets into her parents' car. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, Sayori. We all wave to at Sayori as her parents drive off. Damn it, I can't hold back my tears anymore. St streams of tears flow down my cheeks as I attempt to stifle my sobs. God damn it. Uh, yes. Please be okay. Lawrence, well, she's going to be okay. Her family will take care of her. Yuri's right. Everything will be alright. Sayuri is in good hands. The curse was over to me and hugged me. Please. Please be okay. For what feels like forever, we stand in the middle of the road, all hugging each other. Sayuri, stay safe. Please. Oh my god. Lords, you're dirty gaming. I see what you did there. Oh, frick. That was. That was good. I mean, uh, like, the story is good. <laughs> but damn. Jesus Christ. That was, like, the most terrified like episode ever but at least I didn't got got hurt freaking hell Yander yeah, this episode is like a 10 out of 10 <laughs> good job with this I swear this was 
masterful. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Masterful. Good job with this. Good job. Jeez. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. You guys uh, watch watch me reacting to Atsuki and Atsuki. It really means a lot to me. Also, it really means a lot to Yandere Gaming. Because he will see that you guys are also enjoying his um, series. So, uh, as usual, the playlist of the series will be down in the description if you guys want to see it for yourselves. And also, the, his channel will be down in the description. And also, the playlist and his channel will be in the end of the screen as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.